Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's Mercury Marine My Boat feature. When Zeus first launched the pod drive system in 2007, they revolutionized the boating industry. To be able to dock your boat with a joystick took a lot of stress off the average boater and made it accessible for everyone. Well, it's a natural progression that led us to where we are today as we introduce Mercury's new outboard joystick piloting system. Now, when you look at the transom of a joystick piloted boat, it may not seem like there's much going on, but there really is. It's the simple things. Like first, any multiple outboard rig are connected with tie bars. This allows the engines to move in unison. But what they've done is replace that tie bar with these each individual actuators. This allows each engine to articulate and move on its own. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same with your standard Verado rig. Now there's more action happening. For that, we'll have to go up to the helm. So to find out more about joystick piloting, I thought we'd turn to the experts here. So I'm here with Kevin Hellman, who's the product manager. So Kevin, why don't you, in a nutshell, tell me what joystick piloting is? Well, joystick piloting is similar to our other systems that we have for the joystick Zeus and Axios, and really we just applied that same ideology to outboards. Um, so we have our joystick here that's similar to the other systems, and really it, it controls throttle, shift, and steering all in one easy place. What happens and really how the system works is the engines splay out um, so that they can force the, uh, force the water and vector towards the center of gravity of the boat. So really that's how uh, we get the left and right movement. That it gives you for. like a pinpoint exactly, that you can move around. Exactly, a pinpoint of the center of gravity of the boat. So one engine will be in forward and one engine will be in reverse. Right. And then so to move you, you know, left and right. But enough talk. It was time to head out and put the joystick piloting to the test. Mercury chose the end of a narrow slipway and a Boston Whaler 320 Outrage to showcase this, which for some would normally be a recipe for a nervous breakdown. We started first with some of the standard movements, like moving side to side and spinning in the boat's length. By having the motors articulate on their own, you're able to have the different thrust vectors to move the boat in any direction. There's your physics lesson for the day. Now what's really great about the joystick piloting system is it affords outboard applications Skyhook, which is really popular with Zeus and Axios boats. You set it and it keeps you in that location on the heading that you set it on. This is great for narrow slipways if you have to wait for a gas dock, but also for fishermen, it keeps you in the spot that you set it on if you want to present your bait and it's too deep to anchor. The motors work hard to keep you in the spot that you need. But finally, it was time to bring this big boat to the tight docking space with the building wind of Hurricane Sandy coming across the beam. By taking it slow with one movement at a time, I was able to bring it home. So after my first experience with joystick piloting, to say I'm impressed would be an understatement. When I was backing the boat into the slip there, the worst thing happened and a big gust of wind came. I stayed calm and didn't let panic set in and let the joystick piloting do the work and was able to eventually get the boat home. That with the addition of Skyhook means the possibilities are now endless. Joystick piloting takes multiple outboard docking and turns it into child's play.